Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. Hold on. Okay, so anyways, just ignore the the barking. Uh, today, I'm doing a reading for all signs, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. The other thing you do is we have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks. Okay, so, two cards for the collective. We have number 41, Progress on the Path. Number 44, Hopeful Heart, See Her Sign. So with these two cards put here, what this one talks about, you know, you're going to notice the number 4 is going to be very important for you. 44, 444, you know, that sort of thing. But anyways, what this card talks about is having hope. Spirit is trying to send you signs that good things are coming your way. This card talks about progress through your spiritual journey, through your life. It can be a healing card as well. It can be talking about animals in the spirit world as well. So, you know, stay hopeful because you got a lot of good things coming your way. It can, can be progress in your life. Okay, so let's do Aries. So what is Aries' person's feelings towards Aries, please? Hmm. So we have the Empress Reverse. Sun card reverse, Leo energy, and the four of wands. So Aries, this person wants to be with you, but it's like they almost feel like they can't, or that it's not going to go anywhere with you. Sun card reverse, Empress reverse. It's like they're unhappy about some things, but they do want to be with you. It's just like there's this feeling of it. They feel like it's not going to get anywhere with you. So let's see messages for you. This is interesting, but in a good way. We have Hidden Path, Fifth Dimension, Destruction. Yes. Number three with marriage. True love. Very soon. Worth waiting for. Aries, you can have someone worth your time come into your life very soon. It could lead to marriage. Like you, you're gonna feel. How are you gonna identify this person? Is you're gonna feel a very strong connection to them. Like at the soul level, and you're, it just it feels like a connection, right? True love, a fifth dimension. That's how you're gonna know it's them. It could be someone that comes into your life unexpectedly. It could be this person. I do see this person coming back around your way, but I also see another person coming into your life that you might have a deeper connection with. So, let's move on to the side of Taurus. So how does Taurus's person feel about Taurus? You know, it's 3 in the morning when I'm doing this. You guys are going to be watching this at a lot more reasonable time. So what is Taurus? What is Taurus's person's feelings towards Taurus? You have the Ten of Pentacles a verse, Two of Wands a verse, the Empress. So Taurus, this person wants you 
and you're the one that they want if there was some other person involved or if it's just if it's just you and them they want you but yet they're not going to commit to you ten of pentacles a verse or fully commit to you like what what is that like what who does that so yes this person wants you but they don't want to commit to you See messages for you, Taurus. Okay, so we have control, runner, split energy, union, number six with mature woman, so that could be you or your person, religious factors, finances and career, and getting to know each other. So Taurus, uh... Focus on your money and your career. Do not put your full attention on this person. And don't even try don't don't try to force things to work with this person. But if they are working then that's totally fine, you know. I see someone else coming into your life that's a lot more mature than this person that would actually commit to you. This is someone that you do not know yet. It's going to be up to you what you do with it. Okay. So let's move on to the sign of Gemini. How does Gemini's person feel towards the sign of Gemini? We have the Magician, Page of Cups verse, Five of Pentacles verse. So Gemini, they want to return to you, they're trying to manifest you, but they don't want to be the first one that reaches out to you or speaks to you. I also get that they're immature, that they want to return. So Gemini, they want to return to you, but they don't want to do anything about it. They, want, they don't want to apply action towards it. Let's see. Messages for Sun Gemini. So we have pause, ego, journal, cycles, we have number eight with false person, this could be the one, let go of control issues, give your relationship a chance, so Gemini, for the ones that you know your person's not a bad person, they're not a terrible person. This could actually lead to something good between you and them. But for the ones where your person's kind of like they lie a lot, they have a big ego, it's kind of like a narcissistic energy from them, let that go. Let that go, because you're going to find something so much better than that. 
ठीक है so let's do cancer so how does cancer's person feel feel towards the sign of cancer We have the Ten of Swords, the Moon Reverse, it's seen as like water energy, like all the water signs basically. We have the Two of Swords, Cancer. So yours is indecisive on whether or not to end it with you or to leave it ended. Moon Reverse and also to reveal something that they've been keeping a secret from you. So expect a lot of indecision from them. Let's see. Messages for cancer. The cards are wanting to fall all over the place, cancer. Okay, Cancer, so we have observe family, material world, settling, attraction, codependency, retreat. Number 20 with house. So, a couple of things here, Cancer. For the ones that have a family with this person, I feel like you two just need a little break. I don't really see it ending completely. I just feel like a little break, and then you two could actually improve. Now, for the ones that don't have a family with their person here, you know you're actually settling with this person? That's why it's not working, it's because you're settling. You're gonna be attracting you're gonna be attracting a lot better options that could lead to a family, it could lead to something long term here. Just kind of focus on yourself and your career because it feels like you're gonna have a lot of people watching you, observing you in some shape or form. <laughs> so Let's move on to the sign of Leo. So how does Leo's person feel towards the sign of Leo? We have the Two of Swords. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Justice Carter Verse, Libra Energy. So, Leo, your person, they're distant towards you, they're indecisive, and they feel like things are unfair between you and them, unbalanced, like kind of one-sided, so that's the reason why they're being distant. Don't really expect this person to reach out to you, or even when they do, expect them to kind of be a little bit cold, detached, not really... You know, all bubbly and cuddly, essentially. So let's see, messages for sign of Leo.
We have potential. And vibration. We got soulmate. Release. Number 26 with great fortune. Look how much your, your reading is improving here, Leo. It is safe for you to love. Playfulness and flirt. Leo, you know, if you actually like this person here, still need to be more open towards them, show more interest towards them, like it's safe for you to be open. Because there's actually a lot of potential in this connection. I wouldn't say that it's over. Your money is also going to be improving as well. Great fortune. That's like big improvements in money. So. Also maybe something that you need to release or they need to release. Okay. So let's move on to the sign of Virgo. So how does Virgo's person feel about Virgo? Uh, what happened to your reading? So we have the Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, a verse, Three of Wands, Virgo. This person's waiting on you, like they're expecting to hear from you, they want you, but it's like they don't really feel like it's going to grow between you and them. Ace of Pentacles, a verse, and Seven of Swords. So, I'll put this two ways. Either they think you're a liar, or they themselves are a liar. If you know you're not a liar, then just apply that to them. Very simple. Let's see, messages for sign of Virgo. What a reading. We have balance, masculine, stuck, mirroring, number 38 with toil and labor. So I think you're a Virgo. I think this is referring to you. You may be working too hard and not getting paid for what you, you work, like not paid enough. We have love yourself first, deception, reconciliation. So I do see you reconciling with this person. However, I still feel like I still feel like they're a liar, Virgo. Deception, seven of swords, and that's really the main issue there. You do mirror each other a lot. Like you do have a lot in common, but. Virgo, it's kind of telling you to put yourself above. Like, put yourself first. Alright, so set some, some boundaries, some standards. Some of you already have. That's great. So let's move on to the sign of Libra. So how does Libra's person feel towards Libra? Magician, Eight of Wands, a verse, Star Card, a verse, Aquarius energy. Uh, so, Libra, since you stopped speaking to this person, 
You realize they've been trying to manifest you back in their life, but it's like they have they don't have hope that you'll come back around, but they they sit there trying to manifest you. Okay. So let's see messages for you. Okay, so we have alone, blessings, unawakened, lessons, number 21 with family room, engagement, calling in your soulmate, and then we have separation. So yeah, this is someone that you're, you're separated from. Uh, Libra. For the ones that have a family with this person, I'd say it is possible for you to fix things between you and them. Now, for the ones that don't have a family with this person, I see you being separated from them. And I do see you having a period of being alone, but this person was kind of like a lesson in your life. Like, they are meant to teach you lessons. And I feel like they were kind of unawakened to your connection. And I see you calling in someone so much better that you can end up getting engaged to, having a relationship with. So that's kind of what I see for you, Leo. Or Libra. I don't know why I said Leo. I'm sorry. So let's move on to the sign of Scorpio. So what is Scorpio's person's feelings towards Scorpio? You have the Two of Wands. This is the only thing that messes up your reading. Nine of Pentacles, a verse. Seven of Pentacles. So Scorpio, they do want you, and it feels like this person's tired of being single. But the thing about them is they're kind of like indecisive on whether or not to make a move towards you or to leave it alone. But they do want you. And, and they're tired of being single, apparently. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, a verse. That's like the tired of like not wanting to be single anymore. Let's see messages for the sign of Scorpio. Fertility. So for those of you that are fertile, kind of, kind of be careful with what you're doing. <laughs> we have deception. Karmic partner. Crossroads. Number 29 with imprisonment. You got new love. You deserve love. And healing family issues. So Scorpio, I feel like... You're gonna have someone newer come into your life. Could be this person that I'm talking about here that we we talked about previously. Now they could have like a lot of issues with them. A lot of issues, Scorpio imprisonment, family issues, so they could feel stuck in some way, or so maybe they they've been to jail before. They could have family issues or just issues in general. I also see like a karmic partner trying to come back in your life. That's very deceptive. Okay, Scorpio, so whatever. Let's move on to the sign of Sagittarius. So we 
to Sagittarius, his person's feelings towards Sagittarius. Yours wants to spill the beans, Sagittarius. They would have like, look at this. Eight of Swords averse. Knight of Swords. Four of Pentacles averse. Sagittarius, this is a person that once was very in their head about you. Now they're not. It feels like they're coming forward. They're wanting to express things with you. They're wanting to talk with you. And they're wanting to like pour out how they feel. Four of Pentacles averse. They're, they're done keeping it all in. Let's see, messages for you. Okay. Yours is going in directions, isn't it, Sagittarius? Yours is going in directions, isn't it, Sagittarius? Okay. So we have loss. Appreciate. Denial. Rise above. Number 37 with poverty. Pay attention to the red flags. Stay optimistic about your love life and past life relationships. Of such theories, this is this is talking about a person that either is broke or they don't really do that well for themselves financially. It's telling you to stay optimistic about your love life, to, like just in general, stay optimistic that love will come your way. So don't kind of think that it won't. Uh, Sagittarius, if you notice, like, red flags of this person and, like, love in general, just don't entertain that. Red flags, denial, like, uh, pay attention. Okay? Okay. So let's move on to the sign of Capricorn. So how does Capricorn's person feel towards Capricorn? <laughs> yours is like... Yours doesn't even know what they want. You have the Hermit Reverse Virgo Energy. Seven of Wands. In the Eight of Cups. You see this? You see how much of a contradiction this is? Hermit Reverse, Eight of Cups. One's returning, one's walking away. So this person, it's like they want to walk away, but they want to return. I see them like... Yours is like very bipolar. I also feel like uh, Capricorn, if this person were to return to you, it's like they'd be very defensive, kind of moody, kind of like angry in a way. Seven of Wands. Let's see messages for you. You have Offer, Sacred Space, Twin Flames, Hesitation, Number 4 with Courtship, 
fashion. Honeymoon and romantic feelings. So Capricorn, you're gonna get an offer, like a love offer from someone who, if you believe in it or not, like someone who is like your twin flame or, or whatever. Um, Capricorn, you're gonna have someone try to flirt with you. Like they got a lot of feelings for you, they feel this connection, and they're gonna be giving you an offer soon. on to the sign of Aquarius, then we'll do Pisces and then that'll be a last sign. So, what is Aquarius this person's feelings towards Aquarius? You got your cards like trying to fly out in every direction, which sideways does not really count for when cards fall out. So I don't know what what direction is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be up or down? Let's see. So we have the Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Three of Wands of Earth. So Aquarius, it's like they're indecisive about whether to be cold towards you, to kind of detach, turn their back, or to entertain it. So kind of like expect a lot of indecisiveness from them, not really, and don't really expect a whole lot from them, essentially. Let's see messages for you. Aquarius, we got summer. We're almost in the season of summer. Fall. Summer and fall. Travel. So some of you could be traveling and maybe summer or fall. Feminine. And then we have number 10 with journey, which is another confirmation for travel. If you know you're not traveling, then this is not for you. Okay? You have soulmates. Trust and let your friends help you. So... Why did I want to say Sagittarius? Aquarius, um... You could work things out with this person, maybe through help of, like, external forces, like friends or whatever. But I see a lot of you traveling somewhere and meeting a soulmate, or traveling with a soulmate. In either summer or fall. So, let's move on to the sign of Pisces. So how does Pisces person feel towards Pisces? Okay. So yours is crazy about you. You have the Knight of Wands. The Emperor, Aries energy, and the Two of Cups. So it could be a fire sign or a water sign like yourself, but yours is crazy about you. <laughs> they want a relationship with you or they want to stick with you. Either way. It's like they have a lot of passion for you. Like, they're really interested in you, Pisces. This person loves you. They may not really express that, though, the Emperor. That's not really a card of, like, expressing your, your feelings fully, right? So they may kind of like put on this this front, or not really show their feelings, but they they do love you, Pisces. So let's see, let's see messages for you, Pisces.
Yours is a really, really good reading. So we have solitude. So taking some space to yourself, which you know is fine. Sacred journey. Home. Receive. Number 13 with wealthy men. So this could be you or your person. If you're a dude, you could be becoming wealthy, you know. Children, so something about children here. Chemistry and forgiving and learning. So Pisces, yours is overall pretty good. If you have any issues with this person, I feel like you, you two could end up working it out and getting back together here. Um, Pisces, very strong possibility for you to stick with this person or to be with this person. Especially for the ones of you that have kids with them. Okay, so that is all I have for you. Uh, let me know if that resonates, and I will see you all later.